Hello there viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Source Demo Version. I am Gamer Sky. Last time we talked to Professor Ivo in Azelf Town. She told us about the past that she also worked for Zyra and then after the talking she gives us the Eclipse Man in order to eclipsing our Pokemon. But then we got a message, a text message from Amor Battle Center that our first round is going to start soon. So they said head back to the stadium, your round is going to begin. So let's go enter the arena and I haven't trained up my Pokemon they're on the same level just think that Zorua is on 18 he gained the level last time and Trumic also gained a level last time and evolved from Peaky Peck and Shinx also gained a level I'm putting Shinx up in front because I don't know the difficulty of the Pokemon they're going to use so I will switch it with Zorua if the difficulty is much higher Oh, there it is. The guard is gone from here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first round of the Eclipse Tournament. I hope everyone is going to have a great time, both viewers and competitors. The first battle today is Asher versus Paul. Please come to the arena and give the viewer a spectacular battle. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I came here to win. I'm gonna... Okay, let's see. We're up against Paul. It's a three on three battle. And that's the thing. I'm also going to use only three Pokemon. It's a tournament. You can't cheat. It's using Weasel level 11. And we are going with our Shinx level 14. And we paralyzed, which is a good thing. Let's go for tackle. I think we'll get XP. Yep. Sweet. Otherwise, like in the PWD back in black to white 2, we won't get XP. Are we actually paralyzing everyone? That's actually awesome. Let's go with a couple of tackles. PG is going to go down. Next one is a Bulbasaur. And for Bulbasaur, mm, let's go. Zorua. I know Trombic is a good choice, but we have three Pokemon. We can use him. For now, Zorua need XP in case if there is any normal type Pokemon comes up next. And dark type so that double kick needs power and we defeated Paul no I lost the very first battle yep and the winner is Asher okay now just four runners maybe we are going to battle Rourke if that's the Rourke from the diamond and pearl otherwise I don't know which the trainer is all right looks like we already have the winners in this group time for the second right Asher versus Chad and Rourke versus Ship. Yes, that's the Rourke. No problem. Let's get going into the battle. I have won the first battle. I will win this one as well. Here we go, guys. Now we are up against youngster Chad using three Pokemon. That's the actually good thing. You get the time to switch your Pokemon. So against when we battle against Rourke, we will switch our Shinx with our Zorua. Because Shinx can't do the battle against Rock type. So that's actually a good feature we get a chance to switch the mons between the battles next was a timber i'm not going to waste my time Ay! how the heck i switch it with zorua i'm sure i click on trumbic okie dokie using pied no problem double kick will take you down thank you and zorua is down uh, Zorua take you down. You're kidding me <sighs> Electric must have the ability Static let me check. Okay. Haven't paralyzed. So maybe that electric don't have a move static I think we can't use items here because that guy hasn't used any potion against us and With that what Shinx is evolving and there we go Shinx is also evolving into its second stage last time PK Peg evolves now Shinx is evolving there we go. Congratulations. Our Shinx has evolved into a Luxio. And the winner is Asher. There we go. Amazing. We have our first finals of the first round. Asher versus Raw. Please come into the arena. Okay. But before facing Raw, let me switch to Zorua now. So let's get going. My name is Raw. I am a gym leader from Sinnoh. May the strongest, stronger trainer win. Okay, here we go guys. The final 
We are up against Pokemon Trainer Rourke. It's a three on three battle. Let's go. It started with Hippopotas level 12. It's a ground type, so I'm going with a double kick. Oh, double kick, don't do that much. Uh, what about faint attack? Let's try faint attack. I'm just wondering about his yawn because Hippopotas can use yawn at the beginning stage. Oh, he can use potion, so we can use healing items. That's okay. Still, I'm not going to use it because I want to do the battle fair and square without healing our Pokemons. There we go. Hippopotas is down and Zoro so upgraded level 19. Wants to learn Snarl. Let's see what is it. Uh, the user bugs make menacingly. It also lowers the foe's special attack. Okay, but I don't want it. Faint attack is okay. If you learn any, any other move, I will definitely going to teach it. Next one is a Crendos level 12. The will take the damage, no problem. And I mistakenly use quick attack instead of double kick and that pays the price. Zorua is down. Uh, let's go Nidoran. Let's see how your double kick works here. That's actually good. Just focus, focus. Not Cranidos, you focus on one more double kick. There we go, Cranidos is down. Nidoran gain the XP. Our next one's up. Giant Onyx. We can't use Shinx. Oh, sorry, Luxio because uh, using Curse. Speed is decreasing, but his attack and defense both are rising. That's good that we hit a critical, but uh, it's actually awful. If we use any strong attack, we're going to go down. Still using Curse, no problem for me. That Sandstorm will give damage time to time. And oh shit man kitna so close yaar. I hope he will not use another potion otherwise it will be difficult to beat him because he's already too much get defense. There we go. And need rank level 16 with that. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Torque. Looks like this is the end for me. Thanks for the battle. We got 1456 for winning. And with that, what? Nidoran is evolving. And the final clutch that Nidoran did encourage her. And now it's evolved into Nidorina. So, congratulations, our Nidoran has evolved into a Nidorina. And the winner is Asher. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the first trainer who is continuing on in the Eclipse tournament. Asher has finished and won round one. Okay, about round two, place in not yet enough. Okay, so it, oh, it's Valora. Asher, guess what? So how did it go for you? I have won in the first round and advanced to the second. Haha, <laughs> I won in my group as well. I'm continuing. That's great, I'm glad. Oh, but doesn't that mean that we are closer to fighting each other for stakes? Uh, well, yeah, but I am still happy for you. <laughs> We have reached the end of round 1. We have our trainers who can advance to round 2. Now everyone should relax for a bit. We will notify everyone in time for the second round. Huh? What is this? It looks like the rookies also made it through the first round. My my. Looks like round 1 really was that easy considering you two made it through. You again. So you advanced forward as well. Hehe. <laughs> Not like it was anything exhausting. These trainers are a joke compared to me and they want to win. But I suppose some peasants got through. What's with that tough boy attitude? Can't you just be normal? It looks like you still didn't teach your girl some proper manners. How pitiful. Hmm, I see. Okay, got it. How about we play a little game, Asher? I was called to head to the Mount Garihana to find a mineral called the Eclipse Rock. How about a race? If you find it first, you can keep it and find your answers to eclipsing that you seek so much. What if you find it if I lose? Well, I shall have the artifact and get closer to cracking the secret of eclipsing. Does that sound bad enough? It's settled then. I would say good luck, but I don't need to. I shall find it first anyway. Well, see you later, best. Oh, ho, ho. A race? Eclipsing? What is this all about? It's something I don't understand completely either yet. But I have to. It's my family business. I can't be ignorant about it. I will help. What? No. 
You shouldn't flow into my family's messed up business. But you can't be going around in investigating a mysterious power completely alone. This Frio guy, he seems to know way more about his eclipse, whatever, than we do. You need every help you can get. Just stay by me, so you don't get in trouble, okay? Okay, got it. I will follow you like a shadow. Come on, let's go. We can't let that prick win. Okay. Like we can't let that prick win. Let's go then. Towards the... Oh, sorry. Sovio city so that we can go back to Azov town. Let's take a break. Let's go to Sovio. And we arrive here in Sovio city. Okay, let me heal up first. And then we'll move forward. Alrighty then. Let's... Okay, Zoro is up in front. I only want to bring Zoro up in front. Let's see if we can find Happy Nin now. Otherwise, I really want to accept that man's quest. Who is with his Spiro in Azov town. Let's see if we can't find I was going to accept that man's quest anyway. Okay. Still a picky pick. No problem. And this one's a Starly. Okay. So we haven't found Happini yet. No problem. We're back here in... Azelf town, let's take that man's quest Who is with his Spiro Ah man, what I'm gonna do now? Oh you are a Pokemon trainer, right? I need your help My Spiro is really sick He can be cured, but for that I need a special type of flower I heard it grows on route 2 In a closed, closed of spot Only accessible from Mount Gerhana So, will you help me? Yes You are already doing a quest Please finish that quest first or cancel it as its provider. Okay, so we can't accept the new quest when one thing is going on. No problem, I will do the off screen. So for now, let's go towards the mountain. Mount Gerhana. We need repels at any cost. Do you guys selling repels? Otherwise, need to go back to. Okay, thank you so much. Let's buy 20. I need an escape rope too, if in case. Uh, we have two, so no problem. 20 repels will be enough so guys I'm going to use repels in the cave so in the Mount Garhana if you need, know any Pokemon let me know through comments on Garhana and let me start using repels let me put that repels up in front so it will be easy this is the place I think I wonder how that rock looks will we even know when we find it I'm sure we will it must be something very unique. I must be so close now. And there's no sign of that prick as well. I thought he will at least show up so that I can mess with him. Oh well. Come on. We gotta hurry and find it before he does. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You want a battle? Nope. Okay, there are a couple of ways. The one is down here. Okay, there are a couple of ways. Mm, let me go. Oh. Okay, I come down here. I can't go there without surf. But at least we can do these battles and get that item too. Using a Saint Shrew, no problem. Let's go for double kick. Now, oh, Fury Cutter is effective. Uh, let me switch back to Nero Rina now. Let's go for the double kick. That's evolution, health, Nidorina. I think you should be poisoned. That's good. And there we go. Next one, the Trapinch. Let me switch on the first try. Otherwise, it's Arena Trap ability won't be left the battle. I think he's faster than me, so that's the problem. And let's go for a quick attack. That's it. The pinch is down. Next one, the sand dial. Hey there, buddy. You're from Unova. I'm from Unova. But I'm much stronger than you. 
as you can see just one double kick and you're done I will go with quick attack not wasting my double kicks on a prick like you and there we go ho, ho, ho. there are a couple of weights on a super potion so I want to use a pell I'm going to go back now because I know I have left something that stairway just a dead end after getting some items or something oh man using let's go for the faint attack the double kicks doesn't do anything to this dwebble even though it's a part of rock type there we go faint attack will take him down next one is a dust tox let's switch to luxio oh sorry mistakenly use baby doll eyes don't have any intention let's go for spark you confused are you kidding me Fuck. snap out of confusion that's okay still is using confusion and we haven't paralyzed it any one time single time we haven't paralyzed the dust talk and last time that our guy is just continuously paralyzing each and every one in the tournament what happened now dude scared okay I'm not going there right now let's go back to that staircase which we oh there is any hidden item nope yeah we can check also for hidden items here nothing here at the moment okay it's the outside route to a hidden path I think that's the path we just got to talk about a flower is blooming here somewhere a hidden flower maybe we will take the flower here I think I, I, I think after accepting the quest that flower will show up here I'm not going to use repel at the moment let me go first here now I can use a repel there we go so we are on the right track so there's just the quest guy when they, he gives us quest we can go at that time only there otherwise for now let's continue and here an item nope mm, yes I want to use repel Imolga okay let's go for faint attack Imolga using tail whip I was using charge two charges defense special defense Paralyzed and knew it. Let's go for a quick attack. And with that, Zorwa got level 20. And we defeated Collector Marsh. Let me use a Paralyzed Hill. Okay. You're good to go. Yep, there's no way to go there. Yes, I want a battle. That's why I'm here. Magnemite, easy battle. Let's go for a double kick. Not that much easy. You kidding me? Useless mat. Next one the machop. Let me switch with trumpet. Now let me use pack. Focus energy. With a critical hit of pack, machop is down. Trumpet critical of 15. Next one, the Geo dude. Let's switch to Zorua anyway. Let's go for a double kick using Mud Sport. Let's do it one more time using Magnitude of 7. Can't paralyze. That's the reason I'm not using the Paralyze Hill yet. And we defeated another one. Okay. There's a trainer up ahead. Now let me use Paralyze Hill. I think with except the potions we don't have anything. So let me use some potions too. Okay, you all set. 
yes I want to help you so that you will also help me using Geo Dudes level 13 let's go for a double kick critical hit I thank goodness you go for rock polish don't use don't use magnet too are you kidding me please Geo Dude each time in a battle in a fire you just use mud sport and defense girls why are you not using that now rock and roller Oh, very close. Level 12. Sand attack. Let's go for a faint attack. Rock and roll lights down. Again, a Geo dude. Using rock polish. Follow up with magnitude. And this time, Sword is going to go down. I'm going to switch. Now using much spot, you kidding me? Use magnitude if you have gut. That Jodu doesn't have a guts to use magnitude and is a flying type. I know it's not going to work, but that's a challenge, you know. Let's go for rock smash. It will lower the defense, so it will give us a help. Using rock to whom speed is filling. And with a rock throw, it will go down. Let's go for a double kick. Onyx is down. And we defeated the hiker. So thank you guys for watching this video. Next time we're continuing from here. I'm going to go deeper inside the Mount Garahana. So if you have any tips, any comments about that, let me know. If you like this video, then press that like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and enjoy this let's play. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.